Patrick, guess what came in the mail today? Oh, what? Yeah. Stick it in! <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking at the video. Are you a streamer who can't draw? I mean, are you a streamer who can't even draw chibi arts? Are you a streamer who wants to make emotes? Are you so broke that you can't even commission an emote for yourself? If you said yes to any one of those questions, well my friend you are in luck today because in today's video I will teach you how to make emotes with the help of AI. But before we move on, I will finally like to say this. You know how long I have been waiting to say this, but I'm gonna finally say this. 77.3% of you watching this video are not subscribed to my channel. Guys, what the hell are you doing? Come on, go on, subscribe to this channel. I'm so happy that I get to say this actually. By the way, I also have an um, surprise for you at the end of this video, so be sure to watch it till the end. So I'm going to teach you two different ways in which you can generate these emotes. The first one would be by using tags and the second one would be by using a LoRa model. Again, there are some prerequisites while using this model. Firstly, you will need a stable version of Stable Fusion. I will not be showing how to install it because um, it's pretty lengthy method and I'll have to delete most of my files and I'm not really comfortable with deleting most of the files because I don't even know which models are downloaded so yeah. Though I can link you the github page from where you can install it so yeah you can follow any guide. Next one is an optional step but if you have it it will really aid you in this process. What you will need is a LoRa model of yourself or your VTuber model. I have already made a video on how to prepare a LoRa model for your VTuber and you can basically follow those steps if you are like a, you know, a streamer who shows their face. Yeah, basically have 10 images taken of you and do the yada yada steps in the LoRa video I made. Watch my videos. Go. First of all, watch it and then come back. But if you don't want to do that, uh, you can skip this step. It's not, like I said, it's optional. And the last prerequisite is also an optional one. But if you're going to use the second way, uh, it's actually a important one. So you will need to download that Twitch Emotes LoRa module. I will show you how to download it do not worry so let's start with a common step for both the ways which is to download a model that is a CKPT or a checkpoint model uh, and a VAE which is also called as variational auto encoder and do not ask me to explain what the heck that is because I have no idea what it does. I only know that it is used to actually add um, flavor to your mo model. I don't know, it's, it's just like it makes your model look great in the, you know, after effects kind of thing. So some of the models I will suggest to you are Abyss Orange, V2 or V3, um, anything, any version. <laughs> because there are many versions for it. There's a version uh, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5 and I believe there is a version 5 too. Uh, I have not used version 5 but I have heard some good things about it. And lastly, uh, Corneas 7th Heaven Mix. But if you have a good uh, anime related model that you personally really like or to use, um, go on, give it a try. Like, this is a trial and error process. Uh, some models might work, some models might not work. These are the models that work for me. And I found them interesting, so yeah. I will also provide a link where you can download these models as well as their VAEs. And if you couldn't find any VAEs for any particular model, ask me, I can provide a Google Drive link for you. So don't worry. I am there with you for this one. I am there. I will 
guide you through this. Okay, it's getting weird, I think. Yeah, let's, let's move on to the next step. Now, to download the model, click on any one of the links I've provided you in the description. They will directly um, take you to the website to download the model. But if you want to go the hard way, you know, the way that is threaded less by other people. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you want to go the search way route, you just search Civit AI in Google Task, uh, I mean, search bar. Then search for something called as Abyss Orange and it will show you with some uh, drop down list. Select any one of the model and be aware those are some NSFW models. That means you probably can generate um, interesting stuff from it. I know what you're thinking about, you sick person. So yeah, tread carefully here boys, tread carefully is what I'm saying. <laughs> Once you reach this place, just click on download and the model will be downloaded. This model is, I believe, not that hefty on your PC. So yeah, it's a good model, I like it. For the VAE, just click on the VAE link I've provided you in the description and just download the VA. And if you want to go the rough way, just go to Hugging Face and then write this and then go to this, let's go to that and do that and that. Yeah, basically that. And that's how you download the model. After you have downloaded the required files, the next step will be to store these files in appropriate places. Copy those files, go to your stable diffusion folders and models, go to stable diffusion and place both the files there. By any chance, the VAE doesn't work uh, or doesn't show up in the VAE list copy those VAE files and place it in the VAE folder that might solve the problem for me it works when it's placed in stable diffusion but some VAEs don't work so yeah you just gotta figure that out to check if the VAE is working or not go to your web UI then go to settings then go to stable diffusion tab in stable diffusion tab you can see the VAE uh, the VAE what's called I don't even know oh the VAE drop down list yeah just go to the VAE drop down list and press the refresh button next to it uh, even after refreshing if the model doesn't show up just place it in the VAE folder and if it shows up then it's working this is where the path splits into two ways I'm gonna first show you the one way that is only using tags Though, before we move on to the tags, I'll show you the sampling methods and the other parameters I use. So there are many sampling methods that you can go for. Uh, if you want, I can go or make a video like going through each one of them in more detail. But for now, I will suggest you GPM++2 M cross or GPM++ SDE cross. Those two gave me the best results. As for batch, I go for four, but you can go for um, anything that your computer can do or anything that you desire. I am comfortable with four images. By the way, a batch count defines how many images you want to process in a row and a batch size defines how many images you want to do at the same time. Just a healthy tip for you. Now let's look at the most important method of this way, which is the tagging. So I've divided these tags into four different parts. The first one is the descriptive tags. It describes your model or yourself. You can also use a LoRa model for this purpose. Second one is one of the most important tags to get the emote effect. These are the emote tags. These include chibi, Twitch emote or cartoon. Next are the expression tags. These include um, tags like laughing, crying, joyful, sad, angry, or anything. 
any expression you want. And lastly are the background tags which include sticker or white background. Use the white background most of the time because it helps to uh, you know cut the image out if you want to do that. By the way do not forget to add negative tags too. Uh, a simple way to add negative tags is to use easy negative uh, which is a textual inversion file uh, which basically adds every necessary negative tags you may want to add. And if you get multiple people in one image and you don't want that, add a clone tag to the negative tags which can easily um, rectify that error. You can also add any specific thing you don't want your model to be associated with inside the negative embedding section. That's basically the first way done. Um, this way is more of a hit or miss method for me but you can definitely get some good um, emos out of it if you really get those tags in but I want to say the next method or the next way is much better in that sense. So let's go to the next method that is using Twitch emotes LoRa model. So go to the link I've provided you in the description called as Twitch Emos Lora. Then you will see a model like this. Just download it. It's not that heavy. After you have downloaded it, you'll have to paste it in the Lora folder. I will show you how to do that. So copy the model, go to your stable diffusion folder, go to models folder. In models folder, you'll see a Lora folder. Just paste it in the Lora folder and that's it. If you read through the description of this model, the creator has provided you with many tags that can be used to get a particular effect. Just go through the description and don't forget to leave a review of how you felt about this model because that would be really appreciated by the uh, creator. Now here's a fantastic thing you can do in Civit AI. You can click on any of the images that are provided to you and it will show you with all the generation data for the image. For example, if you click this image, uh, you'll see all of the following data and you can easily tweak the given information to your liking to get a model based off yourself. I'll use this model or this generation data to show you how to get one for myself. By the way, if you want to see where the LoRa model you just downloaded is, just click on the styles button under LoRa tab, uh, click on the refresh button and move down and you'll see the Twitch Emos LoRa model there. Double click the model to add it to your tags. So these are the tags I used. I didn't really change much. I still followed the tagging way I showed you. I added the descriptive tags. Instead of the emotes tag, I added the LoRa model as well as the emote tags provided by the creator for those models. Then I added the expression tags and finally the background tags. For the sampling method and other parameters, I use the ones provided by the creator. Uh, if you want to, you can tweak CFG scale a bit. What it does is it tells Stable Diffusion on how it should follow the tags. Like should I follow it closely or should I follow it loosely? But yeah, the models generated from it were one of the best ones I got. So here is an issue with one of the images I generated. You might face the same issue as me where you really like the image but some part of it is not to your liking. So when something like this happens, just click on send to impaint, remove the earlier tags and write what you want to change about the image. For me is the eye color, I want a cartoonish yellowish color eye. Then with the help of the brush, color over the area you want to change, in my case is the eye. Use the sampling method I use, keep everything else the same. But for the denoising de strength, you'll have to decrease it to something like 5 or 5.5. What denoising strength does is it uh, denoises the images. So if you keep a lower image uh, denoising strength, the more the image will be in the same style but if you keep a higher image denoising strength then it will change the image more uh, volatile you know in a more volatile way yes 
And there you go, I got a yellow ID image. So in this way you can generate many images like holding heart, crying, laughing and my personal favorite is this one. The almighty eyegow face. <laughs> I'm a degenerate, I know. If you want the tags for a Hegao face, I will provide them to you if you asked in the comments. So do comment. So that's it, that's how you get images from AI. And I believe you might know how to, you know, tweak them a bit afterwards using any software like Canva, Photor, or even Photoshop. Yeah, you can use that too. So here is the deal. If you don't want to bother with everything I just told you, just follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch and comment down below uh, I want to emote. I will make emote for the first 5 people who do that. I don't know uh, how I will check it but yeah let's do it. Let's do that, why not. You'll get them for free basically so that's a good deal. Isn't it? I guess it is. Again, I'm a beginner with this. If you have an easy model, I can easily make that for you. But if you have a hardcore parkour model kind of thing, uh, it might be rough on me. But I will try my best. Yes, I will try my best to make your model. So I hope you liked the video. And I really hope you learned something from it. Uh, so thank you for watching it to the end. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.